Dear viewers, how has 2022 come to an end? In the last days of 2022, I spent it with friends, eating food, more food, and even more food. This time around, I purchased oxtail from a Jamaican place, didn't know it existed, but now it will be my favorite place to go to. I cooked plantains as well, and I brought it, and I was happy with this Christmas Eve to enjoy my time with the friends I've made here in Nottingham and enjoy yummy food. I got this cute cheesecake that tasted so 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 nice. I even went on a whole journey just to buy it and I even bought a puzzle to put together but got tired and ended up taking a whole nap during the night. Mostly Katie continued doing it and Nini, well, she tried her best. The days that came, I ate, slept, and in a constant cycle, that was my routine. However, I did spend most of my time planning and organizing the project slash goals for this new year. I just want to do everything that I've been holding off. I don't know if it has been fair or what has been holding me back. But honestly, what scares me the most is reaching the end of my time knowing I have never even tried. Each month, I want to have different goals and to truly focus my time on these endeavors to your dreams and aspirations go for them and i wish you the best for the new year as always till next time oh the light just hit or am i just being delusional it? <laughs> it's probably the lack of sleep <laughs> but it's, but it's like beautiful it's no it's nice. this is what life's supposed to be about mm -hmm. appreciating appreciating the little things Small, yeah and this is it